Hello everyone, welcome to A Time to Flourish. My name is Natalie and I've put together all the meals we had over the past week for you to have a look. I hope you enjoy. On this day I made a chili which is in one of my previous videos. The day was really cold and a chili was just the warming comforting meal we needed. I served it up with some rice and chopped tomato and onion. Okay. So, so on this day, I made a I creamy made mushroom a, and broccoli mushrooms. sauce to serve on spiral on noodles. Sale. They were three for 50 Rand, I think it was, just the other day. I've got broccoli, I've got leeks, and I've chopped up a bit of garlic. So I thought I would saute that and make a creamy pasta sauce with this um, to have on some spiral noodles. So it's creamy mushroom and broccoli sauce a la Natalie. Okay, so I've added the mushrooms and I'm not gonna let it cook. I forgot to take a picture of the finished meal, but it was milk, really good. And then on Friday, which is normally Fish Friday, we had fried fish and chips and a salad out the garden. So I made the fish from scratch and the chips were baking in the oven. You can see that in another video. And here it is plated up. And then on the next day was the day we went to the nursery. We had a lentil cottage pie with veggies. I didn't show the meal. And then the following day, I made a kedgeri using uh, pilchards from a tin. It was delicious. And then on the next day was the day I made the quiche, which is in a previous video. Those we served with a salad. And then on this day, I served a orange scented butternut soup with the baked filled potatoes and a salad so that's the butternut soup dished up and i put a blob of a feta that i bought on the top absolutely gorgeous so on this day we had twice baked potatoes with a gorgeous salad out the garden we went into the garden and picked some lettuce leaves and some radishes to make a lovely fresh salad to serve with the baked potatoes. Right. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Let's get two and then we can put that one's a bit small. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? The red oh, radish. radish. Chickpea salad. How gorgeous are those radishes? The red um, inside with the white. Beautiful. Go out. And let's what make I'm those baked found potatoes. Is if you slice the top off and scoop it out. It works better than we have done it here. Slice down the middle and try to scoop it out. So I've got two different kinds here because I was experimenting. So in this bowl, I've got the inside of the potatoes. And then I found some, a few chives in my garden, some chopped chives. So I'm going to put that in the bowl. I'm actually just using bits and pieces just to make a really nice filling. And then I don't know if, you, if any of you watched the video from yesterday where I made the feta and spinach quiche. That feta was really soft and creamy. So I'm going to use that in the potatoes because I think it will work well. Um, and then I think I need some cream. So I've got a little bit of cream left over. I'll just put that all in. Yeah, make it quite a 
loose filling. And then I had a little bit of this sweet jalapeno sauce. So I'm going to put some of that in for flavor. Um, in the meantime, so with these potatoes, I'm going to serve butternut soup as well. So in the meantime, for the butternut soup, I have button, a cube butternut roasting in the oven, just drizzled with some olive oil, sprinkled with salt, and I also sprinkled a bit of ginger on it. And I've roasted a few garlic cloves with the butternut. So that is busy cooking while I get this done. And then I'm going to just mash this all up and I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so I have zhuzhed this up and I actually used my immersion blender and mashed it up quite nicely. It's still quite lumpy, but you want a bit of texture. You don't want it like baby food. I have not added salt and pepper. I then stuffed the potato skins with the mixture, topped them with a few with some chopped bacon, cooked bacon uh, for my grandson and my granddaughter and myself. We eat bacon and then bacon. topped them with cheese. No, I'll do a few more because some are for me. Okay. And then the dreaded load shedding. The lights went off. Oh, that's wonderful. As you can see, the lights just went off. And we're not supposed to have load shedding now, which means my oven is off. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm just standing here in the light, because now it's dark over there. I actually got very confused with the load shedding, because they sent a list, a schedule for today, and then they said we were changing to stage one, and I thought it had already changed. Anyway, we've got load shedding from now, which is 11 o'clock till 1.30. So luckily my butternut is finished roasting in the oven. I'll just turn it off. And then my daughter has a gas oven. So I will get the potatoes ready, take them up there to cook in her oven. I can finish the soup here, but I can't show you what I'm doing. I might take it up to my daughter and finish cooking it there because her kitchen is nice and light and airy and I can film. Let me see how I go. Absolutely gorgeous. So I ended up not filming it's anything really else, but that is the finished result. The potatoes, and they came out the oven. So I'll just dish up and show you what it looks like. And then finally, I made some bean soup and some garlic dinner rolls. I started the garlic dinner rolls with some hot water, melted the butter in it, added the sugar, and then added the yeast on top of that, just to let it ferment and bubble a little bit. I then added the flour and mixed it up to make a firm dough and left it to rise in this lovely big bowl with the lid on it. After about two hours, the dough had risen enough. I punched it down and formed it into dinner rolls. Thank you for watching. See you next time.